um, we we're going to talk to the... Now, this interview that we did with uh, the Northern Pikes was done before the Junos. They were nominated for two, uh, in two categories, video and the most promising group. Did not win either one, but I don't think that really makes any difference. These guys are in for the long haul, and they're getting stronger as the months and the years progress. Check out our interview with the Northern Pikes here in Vancouver. Northern Pikes, much west. You know that we have never actually discussed the band name. I, you know, I don't talk about what's your favorite color or what, uh, how the band name get here, but I just realized that the Northern Pike is one of the ugliest fishes on the face of the earth, but also has a great fighting spirit. So I guess that's maybe that's that's why you pulled the name together. Uh, you know, there was ugliness and sport <laughs> all together. That's sort of us. I True guess. heart. I don't know, yeah. There was an article we read recently in a newspaper that uh, I forget where that was. Maybe that was in Winnipeg, and they had taken. They had been doing gene splicing. Oh, yeah. They'd taken a gene from a cow oh, and yeah. mixed it with a northern pike. This is actually true, according to what uh -huh. we read. And, and they came up with this fish, a northern pike, that just grows way faster. It's like in nine <laughs> months, it's a <laughs> lunker, yeah. you know? And it's much so. bigger. Tell us about this tour. Where have you gone? Where are you going? Where have you been? How do you feel? Go, Brian. <laughs> Go, Brian. <laughs> Speed. Go. <laughs> Speed. Yes. <laughs> uh, we started in Montreal with Tom Cochran. Yeah. It's been a gas. I guess. Yeah. He's been great. Uh, it's been, the shows have been a lot of fun. And we're here tonight. We're in Victoria tomorrow. And we're back here the next day. And uh, we deadhead to Florida. Because? We have some shows down there to do. Okay. Ourselves. On yourselves. Yeah. That is a great package, actually, the Pikes and Cochran. I think so. Music, music worked very well for both, you know? Yeah. Same audiences, yes? Yeah, pretty close. I think, well, it's good for us, because it's the first time we've done a, a tour as an opening act in Canada, coast to coast, and played all-age venues, like right. theaters, as Tom is doing. And the music complements each other really well, so it's been good. It's been a lot of fun. Do you think you snuck up on some fans, uh, or were you already playing to the converted? I mean, it was Tom's audience, but I'm sure those people are wise enough to know that you exist. I think we're winning over some new people, actually. Mm. Because either, there are people at these shows, I think, that have never heard us before, and we're a, a more of a new entity, other than the, you know, the basic stuff, but they don't really know what the meat and potatoes of the band is about, and once you see the band live, you get more of a perspective of that. Did you play Saskatoon? Did you go home? Yeah, we did mm -hmm. Saskatoon. Did three nights ago, yeah. Played the biggest venue in town. Biggest place. Sask place. Town. Whoa. Yeah, which was kind of nice. Weren't you guys booted out of there? Were you never allowed in there at one point? Uh, <laughs> no. I'm not that, not that one, that's too new. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we have. Yeah. Since we last <laughs> played there, yeah, yeah, we're not allowed place. in anymore. That would hold how many people in a concert situation? A couple million. <laughs> no, I think they had it set up for about uh, three, yeah. 3,500 yeah, or 3,000 like people, something like that, they had it set up for. Um, there's this whole invasion of the Canadian artists, Cowboy Junkies, Healy, and Colin James. We see a lot of it down there, of course. Um, Katie Lang. Um, are we making too much of this, or is, or is this our big break here? I think it's good for Canadian groups. Yeah, you know, just about just time. I think I don't. I yeah, don't think. I don't think we're overdoing it at all. Yeah. I think the more we talk about it, maybe people will get more people behind us and just keep pushing down farther and farther. We've always been very cautious. You know, oh, I don't know if we should oh, if we yeah. offend somebody, but it's too bad well, that they have boundaries on music because they're really it's an international mm -hmm. thing. You know, we, if you can go almost anywhere, and music is something that people can relate to. So, whether you're from Canada or from Ireland, it really shouldn't matter. Or Saskatoon. Yeah. Were you surprised that you got the second Juno nomination, not only for Most Promising, but for Best Video for Wait For Me? A little bit, yeah. That was not really. kind of I was well, kind of surprised. I, I didn't think they should have picked. I, I wasn't surprised at wait, all. Wait for, <laughs> wait for me. I would have gone for, I would have thought they would have gone for maybe one good reason as a, the video for yeah. the thing. But, you know. They, I guess they pick what they pick. Birdie did that one too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm happy for them videos. for Total Eclipse. I think they do a really good job with they videos. Do a job. Great photography. Yeah. And they've also done your new one, soon to come. Yeah. Let's pretend. Let's pretend. Yeah. Yeah. Which we, I think we're yeah. going to be. Is that a cue for us to play that? <laughs> yeah. <song? laughs> okay. Here we are. Okay, th this tune is in the key of E minor. E minor. E minor. E minor. Sing along, please, with the Northern Pikes. Let's pretend.
lounging position. From the lounge. <laughs> That's yeah. usually how we learn songs, is whoever writes it will pull out a lyric sheet and sing it to the band. And quite often, you know, I'll tap and stuff, and we'll just sort of get a feel for it. And then it goes with the next step, where you sit down with the full instrumentation yeah. and, and build the song. So it sort of it's almost starts like a folk song in a way. Most of them, it's just the bare bones. So when do you get off this merry-go-round called touring uh, and interviews and get back into the studio and record? Oh, we've got, we've demoed 18 or so. 18 songs already. And we'll probably do another one in the summer, mm -hmm. right before we go in. So we should have about 25 songs to choose from. Choose the, the best 10 or the most suitable 10 for the album. What do you guys want to be when you grow up? Mm -hmm. I don't even think we know it. It'll just who knows, you know. It's yeah, that's the one thing that's not discussed very much between us as to how we want to sound, how we want to look, what we want to look or sound like soon. It just happens, you know. It just slowly mutates itself into into different things. It's like a like an orange peel getting moldy, you know. It turns all those different colors and shades. And mm -hmm. uh, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Are you trying to tell us? We who know that you, some marketing, some some p person didn't dress you this morning, makeup and hair and all that stuff. This this is you. No, I did this all by <laughs> myself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Northern Pikes, ladies and gentlemen. 